you either love him or hate him. Jay Park is a polarizing figure in the world of K-Hip-Hop. Known for his impressive talent, business skills, and confidence, Jay Park has gained a reputation for his outspoken and often controversial personality. Today, we're going to dive deep into the world of Korean music industry by talking about one of the most controversial figures, Jay Park. In this video, we're going to explore the signs of Jay Park that many people don't understand. From his troubled past to his rise to fame, we'll be taking an in-depth look at the real Jay Park. So everyone knows Jay Park, right? Despite being a household name in Korea, and one of the most recognized and successful Korean rappers and musicians, it might surprise some of you to learn that not everyone is Jay Park. While some have appreciated his honesty and authenticity, Jay Park's outspoken personality and controversial statements make others call the rapper disrespectful and unprofessional. Lately, he's been getting a lot of flack for calling himself a legend and comparing himself to other big names in the industry like Bong Juno and BTS. Some fans say he hasn't made enough of an impact to deserve that title and others just think he's too controversial to be taken seriously. Love him or hate him, Jay Park is a pretty polarizing figure in Korean music. But what a lot of music fans don't take into consideration are all the many difficult roads Jay Park had to walk to get where he is now. For context, Jay Park was born in Edmonds, Washington and raised on hip-hop music and breakdancing. But in 2008, Jay Park took a step out of his comfort zone and auditioned for the Korean talent show Superstar K. While he did not make it to the finals, he got something better, a JYP Entertainment contract. But despite debuting as a member of 2PM, his time with the group was short-lived. As in 2009, Jay Park faced controversy when his past comments in his MySpace page posted during his trainee period, a time that was especially difficult for Jay Park, were brought to light. These comments were perceived as disrespectful towards Korea and Korean culture, and Jay Park faced major criticism and backlash from the public. Basically, he was 2009's version of Cancelled. Even though he apologized, Jay Park was forced to leave 2PM and go back to the United States. After leaving 2PM, Jay Park had to take odd jobs to make ends meet, but despite facing financial difficulties, depression, and anxiety, Jay Park never gave up on his dream and started uploading videos of himself singing and dancing on YouTube. 2010, Jay Park signed with Sidus HQ, releasing his first official solo single, Count On Me which became a commercial success. After appearing on variety shows, Jay Park became known in Korea for his charming personality and sense of humor. But not all Korean netizens had forgotten or forgiven his past scandal, and Jay Park still faced criticism and backlash from some Koreans who felt personally attacked by his comments. Then in 2013, Jay Park took his career to the next level by founding his own record label, AOMG, Above Ordinary Music Group. When AOMG became a huge success, Jay Park became known as one of the top hip-hop artists in Korea. However, starting a record label is no easy feat, as Jay Park faced many challenges along the way, including investing a lot of his own money into the label and putting everything into promoting his artists. But in the end, it was worth it as Jay Park's success with AOMG led to Jay Park's scoring contract with Rock Nation, the music management company founded by Jay-Z, making him the first artist of Asian descent to sign with Rock Nation and giving Jay Park more exposure in the States, even putting out a song with 2 Chains. As mentioned, Jay Park's journey to success was not easy. In the beginning, his music was called 2K Pop for K Hip Hop and 2K Hip Hop for K Pop. But while Jay Park struggled to find his audience at first, now he is a certified hit maker with one of the most impressive discographies in Korean hip hop. Jay Park's artistry is heavily influenced by RB and hip hop, with a particular focus on the sounds of the 90s that he heard growing up. A brilliant songwriter and producer, Jay Park also writes and composes his own songs, produces his albums, and participates in the mastering and mixing of his tracks, giving his music a very specific and unique sound that make up Jay Park's one-of-a-kind musical fingerprint that incorporates a range of genres including pop, dance, soul, electronic, and acoustic, and is influenced by U.S. artists Usher, Michael Jackson, Neo, Chris Brown, and Tupac. 
But Jay Park's musical talent is not the only thing that sets him apart in the entertainment industry. He's also known for his exceptional dance skills, honed during his years as a break dancer. He has been influenced by several b-boy crews, including Art of Movement, Skill Methods, and Massive Monkeys, as well as individual dancers such as Andrew Batterino from Soul Real Crew and Movement Lifestyles members Keon Madrid, Lyle Boniga, Sean Evaristo, and Ian Eastwood. Jay Park has often credited his breakdancing background for his stage presence and overall performance skills. According to Jay Park, K-pop idols who want to make it big in America must be excellent in every way possible. They must be able to sing and dance well, have impeccable fashion sense, and be able to connect with their fans on a personal level. According to him, it takes an exceptional level of talent to succeed in the American market, as haters will always try to bring down anyone who doesn't measure up. Basically, you have to be so good that even your haters can't deny your talent. On that note, even if you don't love his music, you can't deny that Jay Park's business success has been truly phenomenal, a testament to his entrepreneurial spirit, his amazing eye for talent, and his ability to identify opportunities in various industries. As we touched on earlier in 2010, Jay Park took a gamble by launching his own independent record label, AOMG, Above Ordinary Music Group, a gamble that really paid off. Since then, the company has become one of the country's most successful independent hip-hop labels and a powerhouse label by signing some of the biggest names in the Korean hip-hop scene, including Simon Dominic, Grey, and Loco. What's more, Jay Park expanded his business ventures to include content creation by establishing his own production company, Hire Music to produce music, videos, and other content, even partnering with other companies to produce concerts and music festivals. Higher Music has become a platform for young upcoming artists to show their talents, and Jay Park has been successful in attracting international attention to the label and its artists. Although Jay Park retired as the head of Higher and AOMG in March of last year, he founded a brand new label, More Vision, which has already signed popular female rapper and TikTok hitmaker Jessie. Plus, there's already a lot of buzz about the rumored debut of a new idol group under More Vision, already being called a next-gen company. Some fans are even anticipating that Jay Park's More Vision could replace YG as the rap K-pop company. In addition to his music business ventures, Jay Park has also explored the fashion and food industries, creating his streetwear brand in 2013. Also named AOMG, the brand has worked with Converse and H&M and offers a range of apparel accessories, and lifestyle products that are all inspired by the personal fashion sense and style that have earned Jay Park recognition as a trendsetter in Korea. Three years later, Jay Park opened the first outlet of his chain of Korean fried chicken restaurants named Hoodwings in Seattle, Washington, and even expanded the chain to other locations in the U.S. such as San Francisco and Los Angeles. In 2019, Jay Park expanded his entrepreneurial portfolio with his own soju brand, Wan Soju. The brand quickly became popular thanks to its high-quality soju. For those who don't know, soju is a Korean liquor made from traditional Korean rice and boasts a smooth, clean taste. Jay Park has been heavily involved in the development of the Wan Soju brand, from the selection of ingredients to the design of the bottle to the promotion. In the end, all of Jay Park's business success is a testament to his drive and his ability to identify and seize opportunities in various industries, from music to fashion, food, and content creation. Jay Park has established himself as a multifaceted businessman. Although Jay Park has faced his fair share of criticism, we hope through this video you learn something new about this controversial figure. Ultimately, whether you love him or hate him, it's important to remember that everyone has a journey that shapes who they are today, and Jay Park is undeniably one of the most successful and influential Korean artists and business people, despite having to overcome incredible odds. What are your thoughts on Jay Park? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.